Thanksgiving is the time for families to come together, and that's just as true for student athletes and coaches at UTRGV Athletics. We see how a pair of high school teammates have reconnected at UTRGV, and we catch up with former UCPA baseball star Logan Landon. All that and more coming up inside this edition of V Nation. That's V for Valley. V for Victory. And V for Vaqueros. Now this is V Nation. Hey everyone and welcome to V Nation, I'm Jonah Goldberg. Last week, college students from all around the country flooded airports, train stations, and bus depots to get home for Thanksgiving. That includes a number of UTRGV student athletes. Some of the student athletes though, like those on the basketball teams, are in season, so it's not so easy to get home. Jennifer Gutierrez has the story. With finals week approaching, college students look forward to the Thanksgiving break to take advantage of a quick escape from studies, stress, and fast food. But most importantly, they anticipate spending time with their families. For some student athletes, however, going home was not an option. This year, the men's basketball coach, Dan Hipsher, hosted a Thanksgiving dinner at his residence, inviting the student athletes who stayed in the Rio Grande Valley to join him and his family for a warm homemade meal. It's our surrogate family, you know, it's, it's our team and our teammates and, and we spend Thanksgiving with them either on the road playing games or here we had a chance to have a break in the action to have them over the house. And, uh, couldn't be happier to have them, a uh, great group of kids and, you know, it is time to give thanks and we're thankful for all of them as they should be thankful for all the gifts they have. For these vaqueros, having someone like Coach Hipsher to rely on while away from home brings ease to them during holiday celebrations. It was, it was different, but it was great being around all my teammates, being around the coaching staff, and showing them that they really care and, and love their players. I know, it means a lot, uh, not just to me, but to us as a team, for Coach to, to host us here, and for, for Mama Hip to put this on, and even Coach Cass as well, she chipped down some of the food. Uh, especially for those of us that, that don't have the opportunity to go home, uh, this is a good environment for us to be in. You know, as a team, that's a family environment there. So to be around that, that that's good for us. Uh, good team bonding, just keep it healthy. Although distance did not allow these student athletes to spend the holidays with their families, a treasured afternoon was created with plenty of food and friendly vibes. With an evening spent not only as a team, but also as a vaquero family, this sports community proves that there is more to learn from as players beyond the basketball courts. For V Nation, I am Jennifer Gutierrez. Plenty to be thankful for if you're a UTRGV coach or someone who signed a national letter of intent. UTRGV Baseball inked six student athletes. And we start with outfielder Santana Barrera. He's the younger brother of Texas catcher Trace Barrera, but in a few years, we may phrase that differently, as the younger Barrera has been a two-time perfect game All-American honorable mention at Johnson High School in San Antonio. Santana's a kid um, originally from Mission Sherryland High School, has done his last three years uh, at Johnson High School in San Antonio. Brother Tress is the starting catcher, University of Texas. Um, he was a guy that I saw late in the summer um, with the South Texas Sliders program, one of the most prestigious travel programs around. And big athletic kids, a 6'6 six, six runner in the 60s, strong kids, six foot. 205, um, the, the kind of athlete that we feel like we need to add to the to the program at this point, you know, something that we feel like we're a little bit lacking. Um, big physical kids that can run, you know, that, that was a goal of mine uh, to add as, as we went and looked and, and, you know, kind of decided who we wanted to bring in as part of this class. So I think he fits that mold. Next up, shortstop Ivan Estrella, who ripped the cover off the baseball as a freshman at Pima Community College, hitting 352 with 12 extra base hits. He got on base at a 473 clip, and even stole 12 bases. Ivan Estrella is a shortstop out of Pima Community College in Tucson, Arizona. Had a really strong freshman year, I think 360, um, number of extra base hits. They play with wooden bats in that league too, so really feel like those numbers showed something that had a chance to see him at the Arizona Juco All-Star Game. Um, this fall and, and thought it was a no-brainer for us. Can defend the shortstop position, but also play the other two spots on the infield. And guy we expect to, to definitely come in and be a contributor for us at one of those spots next year. 
On to utility man Lucas Jensen, who joins the program from the Woodlands High School, where, as a junior, he hit over 300 while ranking second on the team and on base percentage to lead his team to the bi-district championship. Lucas Jensen's a, a kid out of the Houston area, um, the Woodlands High School storied program that, that's had a, a bunch of success on a national level, can really swing the bat. Um, Lucas is a guy, I can't necessarily tell you where he's going to play for us on defense yet, but a decent runner, um, can play a few spots on D, but a, a guy we expect to come in and make an immediate contribution on offense, legitimate power and uh, you know, a heavy barrel hitter. We move back to the junior college ranks with outfielder Gabriel Montero who comes from Southeastern Community College, where he earned second team all-region honors as a freshman after hitting 342 with six home runs, 32 RBI, 58 runs scored, and 19 stolen bases. He got on base at a 410 clip and slugged 489. Gabriel Montero's an elite runner, um, 6'4 in the 60 kind of guy um, that also has some pop. I think he hit five or six homers as a freshman at Southeastern Community College in Iowa. Um, plays for a really close friend of mine, Justin Schulte. Um, to go to the World Series, you know, perennially at, at that school. Um, kid originally from Puerto Rico, going to come in hopefully and, uh, you know, compete to be our center fielder as soon as he shows up. Um, be able to provide some, some value on offense, but also cover ground in our big park, you know, especially in in uh, you know this setting. Next up is second baseman Caden Rocheult, who joins the program from Gateway College Prep in Cedar Park, where he was an All-State Honorable Mention and the Austin American Statesman All-Central Texas Team DH. After hitting 422 with nine home runs, a 505 on base percentage, and a 750 slugging percentage, a two-time first-team All-District selection, Rocheult was his team's MVP as a sophomore. Caden's a kid out of the Austin area, um, plays for the 12 summer program that I saw early and identified as a guy that I thought we had to have. Plays with energy that you'll notice the uh, the second you see him. Um, the interesting thing about Caden, Caden's actually going to be joining us at the break this year. So graduating high school early um, and will be a member of, of our 35-man roster this spring. So really advanced um, young guy that we hope can come in and potentially push some people this spring um, and compete for a job. And finally, UTRGV Baseball welcomes left-hander Josh Witherspoon to the team. Witherspoon comes from Cisco College, where last season he had a win in four relief appearances, striking out four in eight and two-thirds innings. He went on to pitch for the El Dorado Broncos of the Jayhawk League over the summer, going 1-0 with two saves and a 3.37 ERA. In 16 innings across nine games, Witherspoon struck out 16, while allowing just seven hits and six walks. Josh Witherspoon um, has an interesting story. It originally started out in South Florida, then went to Cisco College in Texas, and now is going to be joining us uh, a year from now. Left-hand pitcher um, that will touch 90 with the fastball, something that, that we don't have right now. Um, things that I thought we needed to add were athleticism um, and left-hand pitching, and, and definitely at least started to address both those both those needs. You know, as as we you know wrapped up the early signing class, um, works with a plus changeup at times, um, and is going to be able to come in and compete for rotation spot right away. Bring something to the table that we don't already have on our roster. The UTRGV volleyball team with a pair of additions for next year, bringing in a pair of strong Brazilian hitters in 6'1 Ellen Lacava and 5'11 Barbara Silva. Lacava has won three national championships over the last seven years in Brazil, while competing for the title every year. You know, we're excited about both these kids coming in and joining our program. Uh, the nice thing about both these players is they add depth in multiple position. Um, Ellen's an outside hitter, but she can also double up as a libero. She's played outside and libero at an elite level in Brazil. And, you know, she's long, 6'1", 6'2", is going to add some size to our roster. So we're super excited about her. And Barbara can play in the middle as well as on the outside. Um, she's tremendous ball control for a middle and just really athletic kid that um, we're super excited to have. UTRGV track and field and cross country also getting in on the action, signing Krista Martinez, one of the top long distance runners in the state, to a national letter of intent. Martinez finished 17th at the state cross country meet this season after taking home top six finishes in the 1600 and 800 meter runs last season.
Uh, we're extremely excited to have Kristen Martinez joining us. You know, we've had the opportunity to watch her career develop over the past few years. Uh, she's been a very bright spot for the area, watching her compete uh, and run very well in the distances uh, as well as on the track. So very excited to have her. You know, she's been to the state meet. She's competed very well. She's got great range from the 800 on up uh, to the 5K distances. So uh, really an extraordinary addition. We, we're very excited to have her joining us. UT RGV women's tennis also with a signing, although this one is for the spring. As the Vaqueros welcome in Tara Donahoe, the number 24 ranked player in the state of Texas. Donahoe is graduating from high school in December in order to join UTRGV in January. A five-star recruit, Donahoe went 47 and seven last season and has three district championships to her credit. I'm so excited Tara's coming in the spring. It adds depth to our lineup and she's a great competitor, which is a huge asset to the team. And it's also nice to get a Texas kid on the team. UTRGV women's basketball welcomed in a lot of new faces this year, but they weren't all new to each other. Next Inside V Nation, we have the story of a pair of Wesco High School graduates getting back together at UTRGV. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. UTRGV Athletics has been using words such as elevate and achieve during the dawn of a new era of Division I athletics in the Rio Grande Valley. Another good word to use? Teamwork. Team chemistry is often built during the preseason, but for two UTRGV women's basketball players, playing together on the collegiate stage is nothing new. Larissa Castillo has more. Laura Van Tilburg and Angela Villarreal have been playing basketball together for years, creating a bond while teaming up for three years at nearby Wesco High School. A freshman, Villarreal is excited to have Van Tilburg, a sophomore and a familiar face, on the court with her. Pretty awesome, you know. I um, we always had like this kind of chemistry on the court um, when we played in high school for like I think two, three years. And um, after she graduated, it was kind of like a transition thing, trying to work without her. And now it's like I'm in college and we're in college together and we're playing on the same team again. So it's, it's pretty cool to um, get used to that again and get to that effect on the court. Van Tilburg has done more than just help Villarreal adjust to college life. Van Tilburg has become Villarreal's mentor as well. I've helped her a lot. You know, she came to me asking me about classes, professors, what she should major in, stuff stuff on that kind of line and I felt like I really got to help guide her in the right path and kind of be like a big sister for her. It's appropriate that Villarreal and Van Tilburg are playing together again at UTRGV. The last time they played together was as high school teammates during our playoff game at the UTRGV Fieldhouse. From the UTRGV Fieldhouse for V Nation, I am Larissa Castillo. Before the break, UTRGV men's basketball hosting Southeast Missouri State. Vaquero's down 11 midway through the first half, but you know it's all about those forwards. First Dan Kamasa for two, and then an old-fashioned three-point play. Next possession, Shaq Hines. And then it's the third forward, Dakota Slaughter. Vaquero's within two. Late in the half, Vaquero's still down two, but then Walter Jones ties the game. Skip ahead to midway through the second half. Who says it's not easy being green? Antonio Green gives the Vaqueros their first lead. Then Green connects again. Before Slaughter hits the three and gets the foul. He converts the free throw, it's a four point play. Now check out this sequence. Hines slams it home. And then on the other end of the court, it's Hines. Get that out of here. 
Hines finished with 23 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists, and 3 blocks. The Vaqueros ended up with 7 blocks, perhaps none more emphatic than these two, like lambs to the slaughter. Dakota slaughter, that is. Vaqueros win, 83-74. We watched film, Coach told us, you know, they're small, so pound the glass and make easy shots, get layups, get dunks, and that's exactly what we did. They were going 1-3-1, and part of our offensive strategy was just to get Dan posted up in the middle there. And all of us did a good job of finding Dan in the middle. Dan did a good job of finding the ball and just getting available for us. Um, so just taking advantage of his post presence. He's been scoring pretty well lately, so taking advantage of him in the middle uh, was a lot of success for his time. Well, they were zoning, and what we have to do zoning against zones is play inside out. And... Uh, we played side to side a little bit early and uh, took a couple jump shots and then we started playing through Dan and playing through Shaq on the block and then, and then uh, uh, Dakota along the baseline and things freed up for us. So, you know, we did a great job passing the ball over the top tonight, uh, got the ball on the blocks where we needed it and had some good finishes. Here's a look at the WAC non-conference standings. The Vaqueros are at Lamar tonight before coming home to host Angelo State on Sunday. UTRGV women's basketball with its first ever trip to UC Santa Barbara, and I'd say it went pretty well, picking up a 62-60 victory. Mary Savoy, the hero, scoring a bunch of baskets late, including one with just seconds remaining. She got the ball with seven seconds left, drove coast to coast for a layup, scored with one second left as UTRGV picked up the victory. It was definitely an exciting ball game. Um, from top to bottom, we, we played really well. We came back after a little bit of a disappointing loss at Eastern Michigan and went down the final second. Mary Savoy went coast to coast, laid a layup in as the buzzer sounded, so you couldn't get more exciting from that, and it made the, the long trip to California well worth it. UTRGV women's basketball followed that up with a tight loss at TCU, 71-67. UTRGV had the lead with just under two minutes remaining before TCU closed the game on an 8-2 run. First career double-double for Anoush Gamal Donato, while Shante Goff got to within striking distance of the 1,000 points club. Tight game at TCU. We, uh, we fought them tooth and nail, got behind a little bit early, caught them in half, took the lead in the third quarter, led until the final minute and 36, and then they hit some big shots and had a few good things happen for them. Here's a look at the WAC non-conference standings. UTRGV stays on the road for a few more days, visiting Incarnate Word Thursday, Oklahoma State Saturday, and Kansas State on Monday. Want to get rewarded just for tweeting, Facebooking, and Instagramming about UTRGV athletics? Maybe get bonus points for checking in at home events? Now you can. Download the VFAN Rewards app on your smartphone today. It's a free download, and you can earn points to win prizes such as backpacks, hats, shirts, water bottles, and more. Need more information? Then log on to vfanrewards.com. As the UTRGV baseball team starts its season in mid-February, four former student athletes will be getting ready for spring training. Coming up inside the nation, we catch up with one of those former student athletes, Logan Landon. The University of Texas Rio Grande Valley baseball team has four alumni currently playing in affiliated minor league organizations. Earlier this fall, we caught up with Alex Henson, who plays for the Angels. Right down the freeway are the Dodgers, the parent club of Logan Landon, an outfielder who was a 10th round draft choice out of what was then known as UTPA. It was an unbelievable experience for me just to be able to go out and uh, you know, begin to live the dream that I've uh, been working for my entire life, you know, getting to play with all, uh, all these other guys from all these other colleges that uh, had, the, had the same goal in mind that I do. It was just... Uh, it was amazing to just go out and be able to be able to play the game that I love for, uh, for a living now, and uh, hopefully I can build on that and uh, keep it going the next few years. Landon initially came to UTPA as a pitcher from Hutchison Community College. After a tough junior year as a little-used reliever, though, Landon transitioned to outfielder and became an all-region player en route to the MLB draft. Coach Mentron and all the coaches here last year, they were great about, you know, getting me ready for the next level, you know, especially when they kind of started to, to realize and I started to realize myself that, you know, this might be a possibility for me to go out and play pro ball. They, uh, they really worked with me on, you know, being able to sit back and hit off-speed pitches and just, you know, they really 
prepared me defensively, offensively, and all that kind of stuff on, you know, just what the kind of what the pro game is like, you know, how to how to develop a work ethic and how to coach yourself and how to be able to to make adjustments when nobody's watching and kind of do uh, do your own thing and just kind of be able to figure out what what you do best and how to how to uh, how to translate that to the pro game. Landon had a pretty good rookie season, but perhaps the highlight was facing three different big league pitchers, one on a rehab assignment and two who were staying sharp in case the Dodgers needed to add them to the playoff roster. That was really cool. Just uh, in my first season, we got to face a couple big league guys, you know, Marcus Stroman for the Blue Jays, Mike Bolsinger for the for the Dodgers, and, and Ian Thomas for the Dodgers as well, you know. Just uh, it's really cool for me, you know, being in my first year, being able to hit against guys who have, you know, made it through the system and who have proved themselves and uh, have pitched at the major league level, just seeing how I stack up against them and, you know, seeing how my ability at this, uh, this point in time is able to, to translate and just see, you know, just uh, what kind of ability I have and just see what kind of stuff they, they throw at you. Got to hit off all three of them, in my opinion. They uh, they ruled the one off Marcus Stroman in error, but uh, if you ask me, I think, uh, you know, I squared it up pretty well. I saw the fastball over all the way and uh, put a good swing on it. So, I mean, that's, that's all you can really ask for is getting up against a guy like that, you know, just picking a good pitch to hit and, uh, and not missing it. Landon decided to spend part of his offseason around his former college teammates and coaches at UTRGV, not just to hang out, but to prepare. The biggest thing that they wanted me to work on was just uh, getting more reps hitting. You know, they like where I'm at defensively and uh, they were actually pretty impressed with uh, how well I did at the plate for taking three years off and having that many that many limited swings and less swings than any of the guys that got drafted. So that was the main thing they told me to work on was just, you know, working on my mechanics and just getting as many reps hitting as I can so that my, uh, my offense can get to the same level as my defense was this year. Landon needs to work on more than hitting though. The Dodgers told me that during the offseason they want me to put on 20 pounds and uh, for me, that's going to be pretty tough. I think I have a pretty fast metabolism. It's kind of hard for me to put on weight, but definitely going to put in the work. You know, I'm out here working out right now. I'm going to go lift with uh, uh, lift with Coach Taylor over at the weight room here as much as I can, eat as much as I can, and just pretty much try and put on as much good, solid weight as I can during the off season. I'm uh, waking up at four in the morning every morning and uh, eating a peanut butter sandwich and drinking a drinking a glass of milk before I go back to sleep, just so that I can uh, get a little bit more in my system, so that my uh, so that I don't burn so much while I sleep. Pretty crazy, right? <laughs> Don't you wish we could all have a metabolism like Logan Landon? Anyway, want to help prepare our student athletes for excellence in life? Then it's time to become a part of something bigger and support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $100 a year. All of the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships, so visit goutrgv.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. Here's what's coming up inside V Nation this week. UTRGV men's basketball finishes up a road trip in just over an hour and a half at Lamar before coming back home to face Angelo State Sunday at 2. On the women's side, UTRGV is at Incarnate Ward Thursday before heading off to Oklahoma State Saturday and Kansas State on Monday. And UTRGV track and field holds its annual inter-squad on Saturday with throwing events starting at 9 a.m. and the running events getting underway at noon. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in V Nation this week. Schedule another visit for next week. But until then, we play for you. Tell them bees up. Grab Roddy while we out here getting threes up. This is Madness Man who wouldn't want to be us. Ain't nothing to hold us down, so the bees up. Get those bees up. Tell them bees up. Grab Roddy while we out here getting threes up. This man who wouldn't want to be us Ain't nothing to hold us down So the bees up Get those bees up Yeah, bees up Yeah, tell them bees up We 
strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference.